try at least eight people. One person has been out here for many weeks. Uh, there are also other folks who are still here, and they let, are not leaving, Let me leaving, show you something say. about uh, that. They have been out here. Now, they murdered an innocent man with his hands up like this. Shot him in the chest three times. I know he was unarmed because I'm wearing his pistol. When tyranny becomes law, then rebellion becomes necessity. 11 years in the Marine Corps. The deployments to Iraq. But now, I'm actually out serving my country. The land here needs to be returned to the people. This can't be. The federal government's got to withdraw. Ammon Bundy said that the refuge was an example of federal overreach. And now they have weapons and they're making a stand. I do believe they were looking for a confrontation with the federal government. Don't talk to me. Don't be afraid of me. OK, I said be constitutional. All right, that wasn't a twist on your head. This quickly became a stew of right wing militants. The Malheur refuge became exhibit A of that anti-federal fury. So it's day 10 here. We have not seen any kind of law enforcement come in and restrict what these men are doing. Yeah, I think that Oregon made a huge statement by saying this is a white utopia. This is Trump country all day. Cowboys with guns taking over a bird sanctuary in the middle of the desert screaming about American you tyranny. You cannot convince me that federal law enforcement will react the exact same way if you were dealing with some folks who were Black Lives Matter activists. Mr. Obama, this one is for you. Hold on, hold on. The kind of certitude that, that was professed there it almost demands blood sacrifice to justify itself. 